Have a good night. I'm Debbie Denman. When you stock your kitchen with the essentials, it's fun to cook those delicious meals. And tonight's products will help you create recipes and cook with ease, all at sizzling prices, of course. And we have HSN's best deal, FlexPay. Get your new culinary gadget now and pay it off in monthly installments with absolutely no monthly interest. This is, to me, one of the most exciting, innovative yep. products that people don't know about. It's brand new. It's yeah. exclusive to HSN. And I'm telling you right now, you are looking at patented captive heat technology. There hasn't patented. been a breakthrough in roaster countertop ovens for 90 years. Wait till you see what yeah. we did different. So okay, first so thing I'm going to do. Patented captive heat technology. Exactly. And what that means is yeah. the heating element is no longer in the base. Listen, roasting ovens are terrific. They're handy. They get the job done quick. But the bottom line is they don't brown. You have to transfer foods and you can't really cook much else in them. I want you to have a look here. I'm going to hold this lid up and I want you to see how thick this this lid is. Guys, you see that? It's about an inch and a half. That's because for the first time ever, you've got a roasting dome oven with the heating element built in to the top of the unit. That means that you are cooking from the top down. And because of that, the speed that you're able to cook food in is unparalleled. By the way, not my word for it, we actually had it tested. This is 26% faster than any roasting oven that we put it up against, sorry, 52%, and 26% faster than any oven in the kitchen. By the way, we're gonna show you some big foods in here, but you can also bake tabletop. Now, if you know anything about baking, you know that the more moisture you can put in while you bake, yeah. the more flavorful the result is and the crispier the crust uh, is. I have to say, there is nothing else quite like this. And it's so interesting because when I was talking to the representative right. about this product, like you said, Mark, this really hasn't been any innovations in almost 100 years. Right. I still, do you know what? When it comes to making turkey, I still swear. Turkey. By, right? By the big white dome, right? I'm, big dome. I'm vibrating right now. I'm buzzing. <laughs> this is where I need everybody to just pay as much attention and close to me as you can. This is a 15-pound turkey. Okay. 15. And it was done. <gasps> in less than two hours. Let me say that one more time wow. in case everybody missed that. This is a 15 pound turkey and it was finished in less than two hours. If that sounds weird to you, it's because you've never heard it before. Okay, a, f a 15 pound turkey at 15 minutes a pound takes almost four hours, you guys. Yeah, well, I know it does. That is why Listen to that this skin. is the most exciting countertop Ooh. product I've put my hands on in years. And I'm just gonna hold this up. I double dog dare you in two hours oh, to try and find a result like that. It's as good as it gets, okay. you guys. Do you see that juice just running off right? that? But it, that's, that's what you want. I mean, you want that caramelized skin. You want that flavor. Mm. You want that juice that's exactly. locked in. And the base? is almost like a, a serving tray. It is. You can serve in it. This is where you're gonna make your gravy, the whole nine yards, you guys. Beautiful. And I just have to get Shannon, okay. you know what, we're friends. There's a fork. All right, here we go. I've made a lot of turkey for Shannon. I've been here really 12 is. years, I've sold a whole lot of things that it make really turkey. Is. And okay. I'm gonna tell you right now, and I've tried this at home, there's oh, nothing man. close. Nothing. That is good. And I'll say it again, mm. two hours for a 15 pound turkey, you guys. This Holy is brand new cow. technology. Oh this is the word. real deal. Don't you love it? Oh my God. <laughs> Let me cut that again. You know what? This you is so special, so I'm gonna cut it again. You know very well at Thanksgiving, <laughs> it's like, okay, where's the gravy? Right. Because right? it's so dry normally? Right. Oh my goodness Are gracious. Are you in charge of turkey this year? Is that mm. your job? Are you gonna be the Mark, one that's, awesome. that's gotta get her done? Well, let me tell you something. How about no basting, no babysitting, wow. no worrying, no thinking thinking about, no looking at, mm. and this is on the table, I'm not kidding guys, two hours. That's this is good. as cool as it gets. I'm telling mm. you, I see a lot of products, I see a lot of innovations, but nothing that comes close to what the captive heat technology can do for your cooking repertoire, you guys. Have look a look at, at that this. capacity, <laughs> holy smoke. I love mm. it, love it, love it. Mm. Two full chickens, no kidding, Look at the juice there, you guys. It's so funny. Even when you're picking up, I'm like, good grief, look at the juice coming out of that. <laughs> that is nuts. And if you want to talk moist, guys, this is a pork roast. 
and you are never gonna see more juice come out of a pork roast. And it's not an accident, it's nothing special because we got a whole bunch of talented cooks here in the kitchen. It's because Carson has given us a brand new technology and a way to cook that we've never seen Ever. before. Ever. Taking one of the most tried and, uh, uh, tried and tested, time-honored traditions of cooking yeah. in that roaster, right? but put the heat up top, you yeah. guys, and that's the magic. Taking it to a whole new level. I do want to point out, this is the only airing of the day. Yep. This is it. And th the 600 that we have of them to go around, they are not going to last. The hardest thing to get, I think, to punctuate for people at home, though, Mark, is the fact that that dome, because heat rises. Right. So it only makes sense. I don't know. I don't know why people didn't think of this before <laughs> to put that element up there. It right? makes no sense to me, you guys. Well, you got to you got to understand the technology that's involved. It's not just a small coil in the top of that lid. Yeah. What's going on up there is almost like a, have you ever seen a back belt or a weight belt? Yeah. It's very wide, very thin. Okay. And it completely oh, yes, wraps yes. around the inside of that yeah, dome. No, Let you're me show right. you one more time, you guys. Have yeah. a look here. That's, I know, I, I know we're black on black here, but it, it's about an inch and a half thick. That's yeah. the thickness of that dome. It. And everything in here is the heat. This is where your heating element is, not on the bottom. That means that everything you put in here is going to brown, is going to crisp, is going to come out perfect every yeah. time. But the bottom line is, and this is where, th th this is one of these things where, you know, if you've heard this kind of thing before, understand that I'm not putting the words up to in front of this. We have proven that our oven will cook your turkey 26% faster than any oven. That's insane. And 52% faster than any countertop roaster. Anything. And better look, better appearance, better yeah. taste. So if you're in charge of the holiday bird this year, yeah. and you want to just turn the thing on and walk away, yeah. this is for you. And it's interesting you say that because when we talk about grandma's roaster, and I still have one, I, sw I swore by it for years, uh -huh. didn't get that caramelization. It would right. always be really, really moist, exactly. really, really juicy but just wouldn't have the crispy look and skin. Exactly. So what I'd do a lot of times is I'd put it, I almost said the brand name, you know, the roaster. <laughs> I know the one you got. Right, and, but then I'd, for, I'd put it in the oven for a little bit just to try to, you know, brown that skin and get that color that we like. Right. This is perfection through and through. Exactly, you it have is. one dial to worry about, that's it. You've got an auto on and off, yep. and I like to call this demo, why are you a vegan? <laughs> Look at this. Look at that no, meatloaf. And by the way, I got there. I put cute. the vegan in. Why are you a vegan? <laughs> that's very. <cute. laughs> now watch that's what I've got funny. here. I'm gonna go ahead oh, and I'm gonna take movie. the best gosh darn meatloaf. By the way, this tray comes with it. Great to bake on. Oh, and man. keep an eye out for what's going on underneath. Yeah. Is that a brisket? Oh, no kidding. I think it is. <laughs> oh Mark, that's a cool demonstration. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Yeah. So let me go ahead. The rack, by the way, which is reversible, also comes with it. You're yeah. gonna want that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this guy out of here after I make a little bit of noise behind me. There we go. Look at this, you guys. Oh, for heaven's sake. A little bit of, little bit of fat cap on top just nice. to let her go down. Look All right. the gravy. The gravy's oh, in there. The veggies are in there, you guys. Awesome. Remember, this acts as your catch tray on the bottom. So let's go ahead and cut into this. I had somebody say to me, uh, what was it? you like meatloaf? I can't stand meatloaf. You know what? When you make a meatloaf like this, and then you do what I do, and go ahead and take that wow. and put it there. Can I ask you a question though? So it's not only faster, it looks like it keeps the, the moisture in, and right? And that's the point. That's the captive heat technology, you guys. Yeah. Understand something, mm, heat rises. Right. So you are cooking in that vessel with the heater up top. Okay. So as that heat rises, it has nowhere to go. And it reintroduces all of that steam, which carries all of that flavor back into the food. So it's almost mm. like, have you ever had a, like a cedar plank uh, piece of salmon? Yeah. Okay, when that salmon renders down and hits that cedar, it has nowhere else to go but back up, okay? That's what happens to the salmon. That's why it's so yeah. tender and moist. Well, that's what you, happens that's here. So you guys, meatloaf. ready for mm. this? Here comes the sandwich. See that? One there, one there. Oh, I like where you're going with <laughs> this, And we're going to go ahead and take that and put it there. That's so interesting, though, that meatloaf, oh. it's, it, it, it almost tastes like it was infused with, you know, some kind of moisture. Look at that. Oh, are you I'm telling kidding you. Me? All right, I, 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 I know you got numbers and stuff to talk about, so this, this is for me for a minute. <laughs> All right. Mm. There's his little man meat witch. Mm. Okay. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. I mean, that gravy, that au jus. I'm so happy. <laughs>
<laughs> Here's the thing, though. We have only 600 to go around, and, you know, there's a 30-day there's a mm. unconditional money-back guarantee with this. It's almost like you don't get it until you get it, right. especially with the summer months coming around. And I know it's still cold in most parts of the country. It's still cold, you know, up north in my home, you know, state of Minnesota. But the reality is a lot of us only use our ovens a couple of months out of the year, depending right. on where you're shopping. This, because it's got that wonderful captive heat technology, doesn't generate a lot of heat into your room, right. but it generates the heat and the moisture into exactly. the product. So it's good. It's not only faster, the foods are more flavorful, they're, they're, they're more moist. And boy, exactly. oh boy, if he can take meatloaf and make it masterful, I gotta try a bite of this. <laughs> you gotta okay. try that, exact. Is this your last Ooh. show? No. Are you wanted to? Oh, I was gonna offer you the messy sandwich. I, know. I can't do that, but I'll I save know. you one. <laughs> oh, please do. No, I'm serious. Now, mm. we talked about turkey. And by the way, this is gonna accommodate up to a 22 pound turkey, guys. That's a big guy. And by the way, I have taken turkeys from frozen in this and gotten it to the table when I forgot. But watch this, you guys. Maybe ham is more your thing. Isn't that gorgeous? Every single dish that you cook in here, every meal, every experience that you try and have is going to be, and I'm telling you this right now and I'll stake my reputation on it, easier, faster, better, juicier, more flavorful, mm. and simpler, guys. And, and, and I'm telling you, this is one of these things that I've, I've tried at home, I've put it through so many wow. tests, I've put it through so many paces, wow. and everything I throw at this, whether it's one burger for the night, or whether it's that 22 pound turkey to feed the whole crew coming over, everything that comes out of this is outstanding, I can't you guys. Even the, the fact that I can't stop eating meatloaf. <laughs> I mean, right? who thunk it, right? What did that say to you? I mean, but it's so flavorful, it's like, Crazy, crazy good. And remember, this was that kind of one pot wonder, if you will. Mark, I gotta tell you, this is great. Isn't it a cool item? Mm. You know what, listen, we've all seen these on our grandparents' counters for ages. We've all seen them growing up and they all wow. do the exact same thing. They have a base with a heater in it right. and a big white lid on top. They do. And they cook a turkey and then when you're done, you have to take it out of there and put it in the oven. That's a two-step process, I'm out. Yeah. They are a great idea, but they fall a little short. So for the they first do. time in 90 years, we have actually made an improvement to your roaster. It's going to do that same job that you're used to your roasters doing, that convenience factor of freeing up your oven, giving you more room to have your side dish and your baked goods. Look at this. I'm you going know, in. I, I know what Shannon's doing. <laughs> she is filling up her box for home. This woman shows up with more Tupperware for a shift of a cooking show than I've ever seen my See, whole life. That's what she's me. doing. I, <laughs> I love her. I was there's, trying there's like to be... like a bin under here. I was trying to be <laughs> sneaky and polite and inconspicuous <laughs> about the whole I thing. Love while it. They were so, but you know what's so crazy? I wouldn't even say that I'm a meatloaf fan. But right? it's, it's, it's so fall apart, delicious... It's hard to stop eating it. And then this fantastic Isn't that brisket, brisket incredible? I mean, this brisket. Oh, like by the way, that, oh, we you? cooked them both at the same time. Yeah. That's one of those things that that captive heat technology oh, is going to do for you. So, guys, remember, we just did a giant ham. That was done in just That's under one amazing. hour. you got to be kidding with that yeah. reheat. You've got the brisket. You've got mm. the meatloaf. And by the way, now that we're deep into this meatloaf, mm -hmm. before we go to the other side here, let okay. me go ahead and let me cut this right in the middle. Because anybody that's had a dry piece of meatloaf oh, actually, that's knows a, yeah. that that's all you need to save yourself off meatloaf yeah. forever. Well, look at this. Look at how tender. You know what? That's a good demonstration. And juicy that is. And let me get this out of the way. Let me see. See, I was doing it. I was there doing it to help uh, press there you to go. another demonstration. Exactly. That's oh, we're, we're, we're balancing. There it is. Look Guys, watch that. this. That's meatloaf from the center. From the center. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no kidding. It's, it, it's, I know I said it earlier, but I'm going right? to say it again. You don't get it until you get it. It's 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 a concept that nobody else is doing. It is patented technology, and yes, it cooks faster. Yes, it's going to save you money, but more importantly, the foods are more flavorful. That's they the really thing. are. They're just juicier, and that's what you want, you guys. I mean, really, you want that experience to keep getting more elevated and ele elevated. Technology evolves with almost every other right. aspect of our lives, makes You're it right. easier, simpler, more fun. Yeah. Why can't it be that way when you're cooking? Why can't it be that way in the kitchen? Hi, 
I am Debbie Denman, and this is the very best of HSN's Kitchen Essentials. Tonight, you'll discover top kitchen tools and appliances from your favorite brands and chefs, and learn new ways to bake, cook, and even organize. Also, try something new, like those spicy sriracha wings. But be warned, they are a crowd pleaser. <laughs> you'll run out fast, and so you can find more great recipes like this at hsn.com. Ooh, la la, enjoy. This almost looks like a custom furniture piece for Isn't my kitchen. It? Now listen, we've had the baker's rack before many, yeah. many years ago. I think it was like maybe four or five years ago. And what we did is we took all of your reviews, everything that you wrote about it. And listen, that Great. was a customer pick, yep. you know, huge customer yep. pick. And what we did is we made it better. So we took what you wanted and this is what was created, wow, I need you know? This. So before we had the slits in there, yes. remember? And then it was like a baker's rack and everything fell yeah. through, you know, because this right. is what you would store it on. But you asked for the those beautiful wood oh, nice. shelves right there. Yep. So we're giving you the beautiful three levels right here of that wonderful wood. We're giving it to you in powder coated steel, vintage bronze nice. or white. But listen to this. 75 pounds worth of weight capacity right oh, here. Wow. 75 pounds and 75 pounds. That is a ton of weight. Okay, you know? I, if I could fit this in my car, I, I'd right. take this home with me right now because I actually have one of the original three tiered racks that I'm of putting course. cookware on. Mm -hmm. But to your point, the slats make it a little clunky for sure. depending on what I'm putting on there. And if you have, I, I spend a lot of money on my kitchen, but I, there's no storage. Right. And I have a lot of cookware. I love to cook. I've got a lot of appliances. You, you're doing this without a sweat. I'm doing it without a sweat. I'm actually putting these little things in my pocket. I, they're kind of like my handy little, I'm going to whip them out later. <laughs> but here's the deal. This is so easy. It's origami. And I love that you've got a chance to look at it first and then ask yourself, how in the world is this that is cool. origami? How is she going to be able to put that together and break it down? I was nervous for you. I really was. Right? Um, please don't be nervous, my friend. Come on. <laughs> it's so easy. It comes in two parts. And let me just kind of show you again. Yeah. It comes flat packed like this, okay? okay? You literally... Open it up. Like origami. Like origami. And then yep. these shelves, and listen, it's that steel. It's, listen. Yeah. It's steel. It's steel and wood. It doesn't get any better than that. Here's your famous origami class right so here in the back. So it locks just like origami. Just like origami. That locks into place. You've got these two little feet which come with it, and that basically is going to give you that top. This top is already attached. Yeah. You flip it over. Boom, already in place. Nice. So the three shelves, that three wow. shelving system, you haven't had to do anything. Tracy, I'm No impressed. leveling, nothing. Yeah. yeah. Oh my Look at that. Gosh, that's pretty. So you've got these little feet here. Okay. You no, just I would imagine, once I locked, I wouldn't even need to put the top tier on if I didn't want, right? I'm so glad you brought that up. Because I'm thinking one of the, the things space we, that yeah. I've got, okay. I could probably, for me, I actually need two of these. And one Look of them, that. there's a window that I wouldn't want to block. Mm -hmm. But the other one, you know, I could use the top tier as well. Absolutely. So you have those two options. And again, we're giving you that nice flat surface That's right there. Awesome. This would be the only three tier system yep. that origami offers with the wooden planks. So oh, think of this. that. Remember, this is three feet long and 18 inches deep. So that beautiful footprint right there. But say you want to put the top on. Yeah. Again, it's super, super Slides easy. Slides right in the Slides end. Slides right in like that. Yep. And remember, no tools, no assembly. No screwdriver. No screw, no honey do list, no, no handyman, <laughs> nothing to worry about. And then this slides into place just like this. That You've got that wonderful brilliant. top shelf right here. This top shelf, Shannon, holds eight pounds worth oh, of weight. Oh, does it really? Yeah. So you can still put a good amount of stuff oh, on yeah. top here and really load it up. So if you wanted to hang your pots and plans, yes. or, uh, pots and pans right there, or even plants, I was just it thinking, could be a little potting station. It, it really could. I have to say, where has this been all my life? I mean, right? I've already picked out, you know, a couple of spots in my kitchen. <laughs> I'm thinking, this is, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And the big thing for me is, obviously, I do a lot of shopping in here at HSN. I have a lot of products, but my big problem right now is, is 
is what do I do with all my appliances? Right. And what do I do with all my cookware? Because I do use several different brands mm -hmm. and I'm not, I'm not at the point where I can give them up, but you want usable space. And no kidding, because I had a consultation done in the not too distant past and it is a small fortune. It'd almost be cheaper to buy a new house than it would be to try to get different or more shelving in my exactly. kitchen. And then I only have the space that I've got and this, that, that's why I say this looks like something that was custom made for you. It does. It does. And again, let's look at that footprint for a second because just thinking, I know, at least for me, I've bought yeah. a ton of stuff in the last two oh, hours. Oh, Lord, I you know, know, right? And so where do, no the joke. question is, is where do you store all that where stuff? Where do you store it? And you take those pots and pans or the cookware that you bought, and what do you do? You put them inside the cabinets. That means out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. You know, this is strong enough for your air fryer, for that oven, yep. for all of that stuff it that is. you need storage space for. Because listen, it's a reality. You get it all home and then you think, where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna go? Where's it gonna You're go? You're absolutely right. <laughs> and it goes yeah. in a closet or it goes here. Yep. You find room. But look at how absolutely gorgeous this looks. I mean, this isn't our, I didn't even know that was our baker's yeah. room. You know, it fits perfect. These are everything that you need. That it's right great. at your fingertips. All of that beautiful, um, the plates, the mixers, the blenders, everything that you need is right there in a beautiful fashion with that wonderful light Gorgeous. oak. You've got that powder coated steel. What does powder coated steel mean? It basically means it's not gonna get hurt. It doesn't. It's not gonna chip, yeah. it's not gonna corrode, it's not gonna rust, nothing like that. But this is that footprint that we love so much about this item this in particular. Is it's only 16 inches off the wall. Yeah. But each one of these wooden planks is gonna hold 75 pounds worth of weight. So super, super strong yeah. and sturdy. And I love that you talked about the fact that you can have it as your traditional baker's rack, right. okay? So you can hang your pots and pans, sure. you can load everything up right here, but but say one day you decide yeah. you don't want this top shelf, you know? All you have to do is just take this off. Yeah. You don't Slides have to right worry off. about it. It's super yeah. easy. Because, see, for me, I really am. I'm probably going to end up with two of these because, again, one of the spots where I, I've, I have one of the a traditional three or three tier right. origamis and it's creating somewhat of a situation because things kind of fall through those little grates of you course. know it serves its purpose but it's it's not exactly what i need but it's all we had prior to this but there's a window over that partition mm -hmm. so if i put the baker's rack up that's going to block the window and i want as much light as possible in my home that's why i'm thinking i need a couple of these so if i could do one without the baker's rack one with the baker's rack it looks like custom shelving for your home you will never ever ever regret doing a piece of origami I, I can tell you that for a fact because uh, no kidding there is never I don't care if it's the pantry if it's I the agree. bookcase if it's the large store any piece of origami that I've ever purchased mm -hmm. has always 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 paid for itself in dividends it's never I've never looked at any single one of my origamis and said now why in the world did I buy that okay, ever. I agree ever and listen we call this a baker's rack but really to get a shelving system like this oh, in yeah. any room in your house would be very very beneficial, you know? Uh, yeah. I think of even just for the office. There's sure. that famous origami class right here. This is literally uh, what secures this entire system in place. You just put it into place. You haven't had to level these shelves nope. out. You haven't had to get screwdrivers and screw. Listen, we've done the hard work. To screw metal screws into metal and wood yeah. takes a lot of you strength. You probably bet. need like a power drill or you something do. like that. You're not gonna be able to do it with just a normal screwdriver. We've done all of that hard work for you. Yeah. And look at how much stuff you can, look at that coffee station. You can store that's so terrific. much stuff on, imagine that's a bar, yeah. a coffee station. It can be a um, entertainment area. I was just going to say, I want to, because in my upstairs bedroom, I, boy, entertainment centers and tables yeah. are expensive. Those TV tables are so expensive. I, I would know. use this like for a TV table. And it's strong enough for it that. It is. You know, and then you can have everything right there. It's big enough. It's three feet wide. Yep. Again, eight to, or 16 inches deep. Look at how gorgeous it looks right there. Yeah. All of that beautiful stemware that we buy, the beautiful canisters. You've got that, look at all the bottles of wine right there. I mean, it literally looks like something out of a magazine. A, I have to say, I'm, I'm impressed with this and it's so weird. I feel like you guys made this just for me because <laughs> even when we come on I'm like oh wait a minute this is exactly what I've been looking for mm -hmm. but Tracy keeps doing this and I'm so glad that you do because before we went to this item I was a little unabashedly nervous I thought okay I know it's origami but this looks like it's going to require a little bit more than I'm used to with my origami no. that and is amazing to and me. Listen, it's, it's 
it's been in the works for several years here. Because like I said, you know, years ago we had the um, powder coated steel one, huge customer pick, but you wanted a flatter surface. So to be able to get the right tools, the right ingredients for this, you know, the wood and the steel was a big deal. And we wanted it to look great. So, so you've got nice. that beautiful, nice light oh, oak crazy. that completely complements that vintage bronze. So this is that vintage bronze. Look at that right there. That is I mean, fantastic. that's sick. <laughs> no, it really is. Boy, In a good way. <laughs> I can't wait for that. you to get this at home. I'm serious. I, it, wow, wow, wow. And we only have 3,000 of them for the entire oh, day. I didn't see that. Sorry. So I, I know I'm shopping after this show. Yeah. Because if this would sell out underneath me, I would kick myself. Because, oh, that's one thing about origami. When we bring in a specialty piece like this, they don't last very long mm -hmm. and they do take us a while to get back. Right. So just kind of keep that in mind. And it looks like custom made furniture. It is custom made furniture. The whole idea is you don't need mechanical <laughs> skills. You don't need tools Thank whatsoever. Goodness. I know, right? <laughs> But I'm embarrassed to say, because we've all, we talk about those honeydew projects. I still have, and I have a friend who's helping me with my house right now, and she she's my handyman. She's mm -hmm. my honey for the doing. Right. And do you know, I've had this piece of fitness equipment for two months, and she just doesn't even want to tackle it. I'm like, could you please help? Could you please help? Two months, and it's still in the box. Well, I think that we all do that. Like, we have the grand idea yeah. of we would like, love I'm a system get this. like this. Yeah. yeah, like, you see all this. Listen, the stuff that they create, the mixers, the yes. all, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And especially with all the fun colors, they're supposed to be accent pieces in they your are. kitchens. But what do you do? You take up all that valuable real estate, you know, you take up your countertop yeah. space. So you, And that's supposed to be workspace. It is. You know, so you need that extra storage system, whether you use it as a pantry, whether you use it as a baker's rack, whether you use it in the office or in different areas, you know, this can be used everywhere. Yeah. But the fact that origami has a, br I can't, we probably do like a brand new origami maybe once or twice a year. In yeah. kitchen, it's about every other year because our True. stuff becomes huge customer picks, they you do. know? But they really work hard in creating it for you. Right. That's why I'm so honored to be with origami yeah. because of that, well, you know? they're problem solvers. And mm -hmm. the big thing for me is like Tracy said, when, when they, you, they don't introduce items willy-nilly. Right. If, if they're gonna do something, it's by, it's built basically by you, by customer request. And that's one of the reasons this took so long, sadly, though, I, first of all, I know it's going to sell out today. There are only 3,000 to go around. When it sells out, I can't promise when this will be back. And the other thing about this, and I promise I am not disrespecting my origami because you know I do, but the one that I'm storing my cookware on right now it looks origami. Right. It looks origami. Mm -hmm. This you make no apologies for. I this, agree. no one, no one, no one. In fact, you know what's so funny? If I wouldn't have seen the latch, that secret origami latch in back, I wouldn't have even thought this was origami. Right. I wouldn't have. Well, and I mean that in the kindest possible way because we love our origami, but you know what I'm and saying. And I think that that's one thing that we're trying to do moving forward yeah. is that I always say organization doesn't have to be ugly. Right. You know, you just need the right tools. And yes. when you open those big fashion magazines or those home magazines, what do you see? This is what you, you see. You see wood and you see metal because you do. it's all about mixing those textures up. But with origami, we give you wood and metal, but we give you zero assembly. We give you something that you can put together. I, I can't, before I started working with origami, I remember I would, like you, I'd get the big boxes, oh. I'd lug them into my car, I would listen to all of the nuts and bolts, the work ahead of me, and I would open it up and I'd be completely intimidated. I know. And I'd be like, honey, and then it was like, it was a Saturday and it would take hours to put something together. Yeah. Or like you said, you could put a shelving system in, but then that becomes permanent. It does. You know, and what about when your needs change? I, I mean, mine exactly. change daily. You know, because eventually, <laughs> uh, that's one of the things I'm working on, I'm trying to purge and get mm -hmm. rid of things, and uh, so, Maybe I won't need it forever, or maybe I'll want to use it in my kitchen right, right. now, but eventually I want to use it as a TV entertainment center, mm -hmm. you know, later on in, in, in the future. Right. And that's the great thing about this. It, it can and do and does become all things depending on what you need it to do, but it's origami with no apologies, right. meaning it looks like designer insta installed yeah. furniture, basically. Mm -hmm. And look at the beautiful white. So pristine. It I mean, that's I, awesome. It, it's great. This shows capacity. I mean, you can really load this bad boy yeah. up with as much stuff as you want. Remember, you're getting 75 pounds capacity weight on each one of those wood shelves. That top shelf is going to hold eight pounds worth of weight. So you can load all of your big cereal boxes. You can load everything you want, you need right there. And you're not going to have to worry about it bending, bowing, breaking. I mean, again, it's that quality of origami, but without all of that hassle, without yeah. all of the work. And again, let me just show you. Look, look at that footprint. So 16 great. inches off the wall. But to be able to have all of that 
that workspace, it's great. I'm so, impressed. Assembly. I really am. Like, I even hate to use the word assembly because this is how it's going to come. It's going to come in a couple pieces. Yeah. You know, don't be worried about that. You take take the top off. Yeah. Right here. Okay. And then you've got those little feet that I was showing you. Yeah. Right here. And that's just going to give you that height, so you definitely get the different yeah. dimensions. Okay. So if you get like a tall stand mixer. Yeah. Or exactly. Air fryer, like you, you want said. that extra height there. Yep. So that goes there. So here are your two pieces. Shouldn't you mind holding those for Absolutely. just a second? I'll be your helpful oh, assistant. Thank you, thank okay. you. All right, so that is one piece. And then your second piece, this is your base. And this is all connected. This, this is, is so all that wonderful origami cool. we love. Here's that clasp. Oh my we gosh, undo it. Crazy. And then that's it. I am so That's loving it. this. It's so funny because you can tell that I'm shopping in my mind, which I apologize for doing, but I really do feel like you guys made this for, I, I have a, a whole situation with my cooker right now and it's, just, it's out in the open. And the thing is, it, it, that's fine if it's in a presentable manner, right. if you will. You know right. what I mean? It's right. like, this is pretty. And then it kind of looks like you're being all upscale and modern, showing off your cookware. Mm -hmm. You're not just getting this beautiful, super-sized wok that you're seeing here. We're giving you the steamer insert that goes with it that you can now either cook two layers if you want. You can steam in this. I cook my lobsters in here constantly. Everything fits. It's an incredible capacity. Then you have the lid that's included. I'm not even done yet. We're also including for you, look at this, lid included. The skimmer is included as well. And we have four flex payments today of $14.99. Check out the customer pick on this, four and a half stars. And, and a beautiful array of colors. We have it in the copper bronze. We have it in the gorgeous green right here. Here is your purple. This is gonna be that gorgeous silver gray. And then you also have it in your black as well. Now, uh, the purple, I'm... Yeah, it's it's the rich purple. People always love that color. Let's start cooking in this because this is not just your regular wok. This is also the one that has these beautiful angles to it, almost like a, like a faceted stone, yep. right? Almost like a faceted piece of jewelry. So you can see the gorgeous color here. Fifty nine ninety five is the best price that we do on it's this. It's an unbelievable price, and it mm -hmm. also comes with the steamer with the st insert with, and the lid. Which, by the way, twenty five dollars by itself just for the. Steamer or insert if you want more we have a few of them because people like to layer them so if you want more $24.95 but to get the skimmer on top of that and the wok right. what is the capacity of the wok oh it's, it's was it three Four quarts? I think Probably, it's, yeah. I think it's, it's four It's got to be four quarts. Yeah. I mean, this is a whole pound of muscles. And for, as for the record, this is a metal utensil, all right? So that's another great thing about this surface, this Teclavon Plus. You can actually use metal utensils. Don't go in there and jam it. Right? Don't test it with a knife. Right. But normal cooking with a metal utensil, not an issue. There's not any nonstick out there mm -hmm. that we designed it for that because we have more metal utensils than wood utensils, and you can do a lot more with metal, right? Mm -hmm. But let me just show you the, the steamer insert is probably one of the coolest things i love it because you get to do stuff like this you know i'm chinese right so the balds is i love to eat but then i love dumplings in broth so one of my favorite ways to serve dumplings and this, these are chicken dumplings and i'm gonna do a little surf and turf because i have this one shrimp in the middle right mm. and i love having a little show so meaning what i would then do is take this and mm -hmm. add <laughs> the chicken stock that's a scallion oh. chicken stock wow. below. So these were not only steamed in chicken stock, not water, but then you serve these dumplings in the broth, which is just such a great, healthy way to eat dumplings. Everyone who's talking about bone broth, well, chicken stock is a bone broth, obviously. And look how just delicious, healthy, and light that looks. So right? you have now completely infused it with flavor, right. and then you're cooking everything at it. the same time. I do it when I cook my lobsters. I put lemon right. 
right. in the water and let it steam with the lemon just to just to add that extra layer of flavor. And by the way, we'd love to hear from you. If you are one of the, I, I don't even know how many of these we have sold, tens of thousands, possibly hundreds of thousands. Listen, actually, let us show you how many we have sold. Oh, here's our, our um, number that you can call because we'd love to hear your testimonial. If you are absolutely obsessed like I am with this walk, I did, I did eggs for 20. I had a party the other day for my daughter's 18th birthday. Eggs for 20 right. in my walk. Right, I mean, look at this. This is scrambled eggs. This is for fried rice. But just notice how nothing sticks, guys. Nothing. Technolon That's plus. scrambled eggs, right? This is my fried rice that you may have seen me make a couple times. You can put anything in fried rice. We like onions, garlic, ginger to start. That's the classic technique of Chinese cooking is you flavor the oil with your max. Garlic, ginger is a minimum. We have onions here as well. Mm, wow, Let that awesome. flavor the oil, then this flavor oil will coat everything, which is we have shiitake mushroom. You can use any mushrooms. This is my vegetarian fried rice, so you just, of course could add meat to this. Ground chicken, ground lamb, ground beef, anything. And I love this because you can add it all in, including our leftover rice, because every good Chinese household, at least, and most houses these days now have leftover rice. This is my house rice, which is half brown and half white. I add these eggs back, which was cooked with a bunch of oil, but as you can tell, I took the oil out by putting on a paper towel. Now, this, we can just mix up, and I would just want all the veg on the bottom to cook. And the cover I love, because when you cover something like this, it keeps all of the flavor and, this, and it keeps the fried rice moist. And eventually, this will get hot through and I can get a nice crust on it, because nothing sticks to this great coating. And did you see what he was using? Metal utensils. This is one of the newest added designs, which is when Teclon Plus first came out, yep. you needed to use plastic utensils. No longer. Now, the technology includes being able to use your metal utensils. And this is the technology that you created. Yep, exactly. So the idea is you want easy cleanup, but you want also great conductivity. So by coating the Teclon Plus, not only the inside, but also the outside, that's a great cleanup. You notice the design on the outside, which I love. I, that's Joy Mangano putting her touch on it, because if it's pretty to the eye, that really helps, right? The idea, though, is because of Teclon Plus being ceramic, being the second hardest material in the world, that means it will help conduct the heat. Not only in the bottom, but all the way up on the sides. And that emulates wok cooking. You want this heat. It's also an amazing fryer. Mm -hmm. So here we have some oil. And this is at 370. And I'm just going to do the little beer batter tempura. Woks are awesome because it's concave this way, so there's more surface area. You notice there's only an inch and a half oil. I don't need to fill it with five inches of oil in a stock pot mm -hmm. because woks, woks uh, conduct the heat, and because of the surface area, you can really get a lot of material in there. That's cooking. why I did eggs for 20 in it because I can yep. cook more at the same time, and then you have the nonstick. Technolon Plus is amazing in terms of ceramic nonstick. It is the newest on the market, and now to be able to use my metal utensils thing you because right? I, I'm like you I prefer to use metal utensils it just makes it easier so now you're creating the batter so now we have some shrimp yeah lobster Ooh, scallions nice which I love and then this and there's really hot oil so what I'll do first is you can take a little bit you can have a little extra oil it's a little bit too hot this is a quick tip. If you see your oil smoke, you just add a little bit of room temp oil to bring it down. Because if it's too hot, you'll burn it. Okay. And I don't want to burn these incredibly delicious and expensive lobster tails. I was going to say, but, you be careful. But listen to this sizzle. That's the sizzle you want. Wow. See how it's sizzling? But it sizzles all the way to the side as well. Why? Because the heat conducts everywhere here. And this is a 12-inch diameter, so yeah. you're going to get not only incredible capacity, but cooking all the way up the sides on this one because that's what woks do. Once exactly. you cook, I, I now do my pasta in here, my eggs. You can fry in it. I cook almost everything in it. it it's, it's just I my use favorite. It, I mean, you, you said it. Breakfast is awesome because you, you la the last thing you want is your eggs to stick. Yeah, look how quick that is, right? Oh, my gosh. But you can tell how light and fluffy this is gonna be just by looking at it. So this needs just one more minute while we're waiting for that. This is a great breakfast dish. Just a frittata, uh, onions, bell peppers, and potatoes, 
Oop, there's a spoon in there. We'll leave that. <laughs> we won't serve this spoon. <laughs> then cheese. Mix this up, again, using my tongs. I'm not worried about that. We can add my cheese on top. And we do have the and tongs available. The skimmer is included with this. The steamer insert is included with this. We, we offered this as a today's special. This is a today's special price yep. that you're getting today. Only in honor of the Cook's event. So take advantage of it. This alone, $24.95. If you want to add another one, which people do, they'd love to just stack these up. Then we do have a, like a thousand, I think, available of these. $24.95 with the steamer, okay? Understand, we're including it with the wok and a skimmer and the lid, all for $59.95. So even if you own one of these, you want another one because if you're like me, this is your go-to pan. I never thought I, that a wok would be my go-to pan, but I think it's the tech, it's the non-stick, it's, it's the, the non non pus, it's, it is the, I, I Allison, for you, it's the non-cleaning later. Can you just look closely at this batter? You see how there's no grease, no fat at all? That's the art of good quick frying. When you have your oil hot, or your oil stays hot like this does, then you have incredibly G B and D's, we call it. Golden, brown, and delicious. <laughs> there it That's is. That's what we like. And uh, what you're doing over here, Miss Tracy, Oh, this is, is unbelievable. Check this out. We made our popcorn in here because this is a great pan to make popcorn in. It's fantastic to, to make a big batch of popcorn. And then I just made my caramel right in the same pan. And I'm going to show you. I mean, look, it just beads up and pours right out of there. And then I've got a damp towel here That's that I'm going to use to it's, just yeah. wipe out that caramel that typically would be <laughs> soaking no overnight way. in the sink. And it looks inside and out looks beautiful. Looks like you just got it out of the box. Absolutely. It is absolutely pristine. You're going to have to throw that cloth away. Yeah. <laughs> Cloth's but gone. Look at the way that cleans. And the exterior of this, this is a very special design. So you can see it's almost faceted. So it's going to add this gorgeous, gorgeous look to your kitchen. Look at that. Look at the way it catches the light. The joy thing of this, it's, because I got to tell you, oh, of course. that is the prettiest cookware I think I have ever seen. Have you ever seen anything like it? Again, we'd love to take your phone calls. Call in and say hi to Chef Ming Tsai, who is with us today. So for the record, that demo that Tracy does, mm -hmm. that's incredible. For anyone that has ever worked with sugar as a pastry cook, you realize how amazing that is because <laughs> sugar sticks to everything. Now look at this, great. This is in honor okay. of my mom, who's, I think, maybe watching. These are her Asian Sloppy Joes. So Sloppy Joe's that every kid in Dayton, Ohio loved. It has hoisin sauce, which is the secret. But to your point, Alice, about quantity, you know, extra 20, oh my God, you can make Sloppy Joe's for probably 20 kids as well. I mean, there's six right there, and I'm not even a quarter of the way done with this. Exactly. The, qu the quantity of this walk is unbelievable. Okay, listen, I'm, I'm even coming in because I've tasted this before. Yes, please do. This is the most amazing, what do you call them, Asian Sloppy Joe? Asian Joes? Sloppy Joe. It's the ginger in here is incredible. You, you gotta try this, but you've gotta try this. If you've never cooked with a wok before, understand this is different. That Technolon Plus is what really makes all the difference for me. 100%. It's almost self-cleaning, I swear, right? It's almost self-cleaning. It is self-cleaning. <laughs> I mean, unless you have food out, you can just wipe it. But we also talked about this great steamer. You mentioned lobster steam. Hold on. Clams and mussels and shrimp steamed. And water. look at the capacity. And we had the four lobster tails on top. So always display the lobster on top, right? Because Okay, it's now just, if you right. wanted to do it New England style, add another oh. one of these and do your corn you and your, your corn, potatoes. You have your corn, your potatoes and everything. And you've got like triple decker steaming wow. all at the same time. It's all ready at the same time. Oh my God, that but looks amazing. So, but the quantity I from one little wok. <laughs> steaming is one of the oldest techniques of cooking mm -hmm. and one of the most efficient and one of the healthiest because all you're going to taste here now is seafood. There's no oils to mask it. I think you need salt. And of course, one of the old New England tricks is if you're by the ocean, you use the seawater. Because you boil it, so by boiling it, if there's anything in it, it's, it's sanitized. But seawater wow. has salt. And sea cooks best in seawater.
I had when you steam it. No idea. Absolutely. And, and you tell Mom, Mama Sai that I would give up lobster every day for, <laughs> for her sloppy joes. For Joe? her sloppy okay. joes. <laughs> Those sloppy joes. I think she'd appreciate are that. Killer. Oh my God. And uh, Eric is joining us as well. Tracy's over here. I didn't even say hi to you guys. <laughs> By the way, we have the induction burner available for you as well. Nobody does an, in, in, an induction burner like the, you do, Chef. Or mussels, because I can smell. Right, these the mussels started, we just literally cooked these when we started this. Is there lemongrass right. in there? What is no, this is garlic, ginger, scallion. So oh. simple, and Chinese sausage. Wow. Right? Amazing. And here is our fried rice now. All right, you see? See that cocon? See yeah. how nothing sticks? I'm just gonna slide this out, because I want you to just see how fried rice slides out, and I like that crispy. But I mean, literally. <laughs> wait, wait, oh, you did that too fast. We didn't I mean, get literally, shot. right? Nothing. <laughs> because and, the, the, and this little black comes like, right out too. So just, that, just so, fried just rice help people know that nothing sticks. I mean, I'm talking about nothing sticks. <laughs> nothing sticks. And this is the best part of any fried rice, any culture. You're in the DR. You're in China. They want that cocon. They want that crispiness. Uh, what is it? Cocon? cocon, as they say in the DR. We call it guava in Chinese. It's the best part of the rice. Is the rice that's on the bottom of the rice pot that gets nice and crunchy. Don't forget, this is included, $24.95 right now, available for you. If you want to add separate ones, if you want to really stack it up, then you can do that. But we're including one. You're getting that 12-inch diameter sock. I believe it's four quarts. Paul, can you check and see if, it, if it's online? And inside, Technolon Plus. You have your buffet handle on it, that beautiful curve, everything riveted. And this is his newest that now you're able to use those metal utensils with to be able to to, uh, to use um, the skimmer that we're including for you as well as the lid. This had to be a labor of love to finally take you know, the best of everything and put it into cookware, right? Absolutely. Yeah, well, I mean, for us, I think, too, it's like I've been cooking my whole life. She's been designing and running the restaurants her whole life, and we wanted to show people how we entertain at home. Yeah, because we do this a lot at home. I mean, this is sort of our thing. We try to stay out of each other's way a little bit more, but this is what we do. And, okay, <laughs> so Liz, would you like to tell us the inspiration and, and how this kind of came to fruition? Well, I, we both love cooking in, you know, with cast enamel. Yeah. So this this was just sort of one of those things. And then I thought, well, let's do some really interesting colors yeah. and make it sort of fun. And, you know, it's going to be beautiful sitting on a shelf. You don't have to put it away in a cabinet. That's true. Okay. You don't have to hide your pan. Yeah, you don't, don't hide your pan. You don't have to hide your pan. You don't have to shoot people out of the kitchen. They're like, right. don't look at the no, pans. No, don't right? right? No. We, okay. Yeah. So, Michael, the, the aesthetics are gorgeous, as we know. But right. when we talk about the cooking properties, what am I going to love about this cookware? Look, here's what I love about cast enamel. Every single chef I know, if we went into 100 chefs' kitchens, every one of them would have cast enamel in their kitchen. So we wanted to give you pans that perform like the pans that we've been cooking on our entire lives and yeah. that we have at our homes, but we also wanted to do them at a price that you could afford. Yeah. So here's why I love cast enamel. Look. We put four chicken thighs in here. You get unbelievable heat distribution through yeah. the entire pan. You don't have to worry about hot spots. You get that beautiful golden brown. And then what I love about it too okay. is we could build our sauces in the pans. Now, a, a lot of people, a non-stick pan or a cast iron pan, yeah. you don't get that, the, the little bits on the bottom, right. that fine. The zhuzh. The, and the <laughs> zhuzh, you <laughs> get the zhuzh in this. I want the zhuzh. And because it has that enamel coating in it, which is so fantastic. Uh, just a pause here. Okay, what was that? Like a little chicken stock and then? Yeah, a, a little bit of white wine, white a little wine. bit of tomato sauce, okay, sorry. a little bit of flat leaf parsley, okay. some olives because I'm a Greek boy, so I must put olives in. <laughs> and then we're just going to put a little more sauce in this. And the beauty about this, too, I go Ready. right from here to the oven. The nice. oven could be 300, 350, 450. I don't have to worry the pan's going to perform in the oven as good as it Absolutely. goes on. Absolutely. Liz, oh. let me ask you this because I'm looking at this handle. I don't know mm -hmm. how to see the handle quite like this. Well, we, we made them a little bit longer, and this, you know, takes some of the weight off just having this oh, like yeah. this. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then to right. be able to, you know, your little yeah. helper handle over here to hold it. Yeah. But what's nice about this handle is that it really 
is good for somebody like him. Like that's got I got big it. paws, but it also. I'm a little short guy with big hands. <laughs> so I can grab it. Yeah. Right. But it also feels good. You know, I mean, yeah. when you feel that, it feels. No, it does. It, it feels good in the hand. I mean, it, the, 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 yeah, it is a little bit longer. Right. So it's not going to heat up as is get as hot right here. As right. Well. So when you're cooking on the stove, yeah. you could you could grab. I mean, you could obviously use a towel, but it doesn't. Sure. The heat doesn't move through it. Right. Lizzie, look at this beautiful oh, frittata okay. and those eggs over there. What do you got going on down here? Okay, this is a gorgeous frittata, mm. which I'm going to give you a piece of this. But I just want you to see, too, because sometimes I think people think that cast enamel doesn't release well. And this no. is, I mean, this is basically reacting right now like a nonstick pan. I mean, it's amazing. So let me so. ask you this. Do I have to season this at all? No. No. So no, pan, like, no seasoning. Look, no we seasoning. love cast iron. Liz's mom's from the South. We inherited cast iron pans. Right. We cook in them all the we time. But you have to season them, oil them, rub them out, all that stuff. You get all the performance of cast iron yeah. here without all the work. And without uh, having to put it in the family will. Right. <laughs> you mean they fight over the pans, yeah, right? I'm not kidding. No, it's true. It's the, I mean, this one will last you that long, it but will. it's not. Right. So, so it's, no, it's, no fighting. It's, it's, it's no the fighting. legacy pan without litigation right, right. so exactly uh, you know no litigation but it's your legacy no seasoning required uh, we will show, in fact i won't walk over there just because i know time is flying but we do have your colors uh, rick you were saying the taupe is the most limited so taupe is the most limited burgundy is the most popular are we calling that like a gray in the system we're, we're I, we call it pewter oh pewter, pewter. sometimes graphite but i, I like graphite. you know. Okay. Fancy. <laughs> We're fancy like yeah. You are fancy. Well, look at look at this. Can I show you this real quick? You have to because I have to try a bite. We of just this. flipped these steaks. <laughs> when you cook a steak, that's what you want. You want that fantastic crust oh, man. that only a cast enamel pan could give you. A cast enamel pan. Look at see the crust. Oh as man. You eat your, as you eat your frittatas, look at the crust. Admire the crust. You're weeping. You're weeping from I the am. crust. I am. I'm weeping for the crust is right. Okay, so Liz, <laughs> Liz normally you, you said we don't expect release properties, right? Right. But there's really nothing oh, stuck no, in that pan. It, yeah, it released, I mean, and that's eggs and Holy cheese. Cow. Right. So that's mm. something that, you know, it's nice that it releases. And if oh, you'll man. notice our handy dandy acacia wood tool. I like that. What I love about this though is that when you set it down, it's not flopping and yeah. flipping on the I've been messing counter. up Good Liz's point. counters for decades. Far too long. Yeah. It's time to do something about it. It was time to do something she about it. She had to design a tool right. See? because she was sick of yelling at me. Absolutely. See, that's a smart woman, my friends. I do have to point out, though, uh, this is Michael and Liz's first show of the visit, and this is exclusive here at HSN. So it's not your mama's cast iron anymore. You don't have to babysit it. You don't have to put it in the will. You don't have to season it. Here's the other thing. It's, yes, it's got some girth to it, but it's still, because I have arthritis in my hands, and yes, this is still, oh, do you really? Yeah, all three of us. <laughs> See, oh, you do. Look at that. Yeah. We su suffer from the same yeah. evils. But, you know, honestly, normally I couldn't, you know, it, it'd be. It's a comfortable weight. It, it's a comfortable weight. That's a it's perfect a comfortable way to describe weight, which it. I love about it. Yeah. And with this hand being a little bit tapered too it's it's an easy grab it does so to speak you know, you know what else yeah. i love about it though over oh. there liz has made some eggs poached in tomato sauce now normally with cast enamel pans lizzie right it, it, yeah a lot of times the surface the interior yeah. is a cream or a light color yeah oh yeah and right. this yeah. is a beautiful charcoal gray so I could literally leave this set in here for a long time in the tomato sauce. Sometimes it'll yeah. stain in those light insides. Right. This is, you're not gonna get any staining. You know, th that's an interesting which is point. Great. And as soon as you said that, you're like, I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. Right. So no staining, no oxidizing, no interaction right. with flavors. Exactly. Okay. All right, exactly. I'm gonna hop over here. Michael, now, we, I, I, I know we've been referencing it, but Stove top, tabletop, oven. This right? is beautiful. So chicken, like a chicken breaded cutlet, mm. millionaires, whatever. Here's what I love about this is, again, a lifetime of cooking together. Yeah. Usually when I'm in the restaurants, I have a team of people helping me kind of clean as I go. So I use pots, pans, plates, uh, just a million different things. Doesn't matter. There's a mess they clean up after me. You know, Liz and I have been together t over 25 years and she's like, you're not here today. You need to no clean way. as you go. So That's when she funny. designed these pans, she made <laughs> them so beautiful that you could take them and put them on the tabletop. So yeah, we, they we really are pretty, I gotta say. Katie made me this beautiful you, little Katie. fennel salad Katie. with some 
arugula mm -hmm. and a little bit of lemon. And you just take this and you place it right in the middle of your table. Just like yeah. that, and you're good to go. Okay, so uh, Liz, I have to ask, did you choose these colors specifically? Did you have like some idea in mind of what would work best? Honestly, they were just colors that I loved. Yeah. And I was like, can we do it in this? Can we do it in this? And if you notice, if you see this in the light, because a lot of times this pan will be setting on my stove top. Yeah. So your little overhead light, this has a little bit of a sparkle to oh, it. Oh, it does. Nothing obnoxious, but uh -huh. it's a little yeah. sparkle. A little and sparkle. as well as the interior. Oh, something, something. has a teeny little sparkle. You yeah. can really see it on oh, this right. soap one. Yes. Because who doesn't love a sparkle? Exactly. Everybody loves a sparkle. <laughs> a little bling for your thing. <laughs> I, it's, right. For me, it's just a little bit of sweat on the head, but a little sparkle <laughs> in the pan is nice, too. <laughs> What's so cool, too, is I love the idea. Not only it, it elevates your cooking, it's easy to clean, you don't have to labor over it, that even heat conductivity, but I would imagine it, it also holds on to its heat, too, right? That is very, very true. Like, Huge. you could have... Um, you know, you can also bake in these, as you can see yeah. with these bacon gorgeous beautiful. biscuits. I gotta say. But it, this, this would stay hot for a while because it's gonna right. retain the heat inside yeah. this pan, which is great. But like Absolutely. down at the end there, we made the berry crisp. Oh yeah, right. You yeah. could take that berry crisp, you could put it on the table 20 minutes, 30 minutes before okay. your guests are gonna eat it, and you know it's gonna still be hot when they eat it. Right. Which is great. That's the wild. ice cream's still gonna melt on top of it. Yeah. Yes. I love and, it. And there you go. And I like this, Liz. Okay. I love these little pour spouts mm -hmm. because look, Smart. we have some biscuits gets in there, we're gonna take the gravy and we're gonna Ooh, pour it that sizzle. right love. over our yeah. biscuits mm. and we are good to go. Oh my God, you guys are killing me. Right? <laughs> Come on. Oh God. This isn't <laughs> watch your girl and yeah, your no, hour. This is not. You know, we're cooking. I, I know, I, I already mentally prepared. I got in the treadmill before I got here and I'm just telling you the way <laughs> my mouth is watering. It's like a little obscene when I say food porn. If you could hear what's going on in my brain, you'd be a little embarrassed for me. You got noises up I there. got noises up right. there. I'll have what she's having. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Because I'm looking at all this, but you know the thing that I love most about it too is, I think for a lot of home chefs, we've, uh, we've admired the idea of cast iron. You hear cast iron, cast iron, cast iron, cast iron. But it does take a little finessing, right? It mm -hmm. takes like a little mm -hmm. bit of a learning curve. There's no learning curve with no, yeah, and, and you know what, and it's so, like cast enamel pans typically, and I think the reason they've taken a little bit to catch on with people yeah. is there's several hundred dollars, <laughs> yeah. you know, They're so expensive. it was yes, important to us that, that we could show people like, look, you could get a pan like this, you could cook like professional chefs cook in their house oh, yeah. for just a fraction. Up for pennies. A yeah. fraction of no, one. I'm not even kidding. It's so funny. Uh, when I was talking to Michael before the show, I, 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 I didn't say it on the phone. I should have. Are these prices right? I'm, I'm thinking, I know this is your first go round at HSN, <laughs> but you might want to rethink the price. I, oh, I know. It's, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. Right? It's really, it's unbelievable. <laughs> it's unbelievable. No, I mean, it really is because, it is. you know, that's just it. When you guys are building out restaurants, I mean, my Lord, you know, from the upholstery to the this, to the that, to the, I mean, this is restaurant grade to me. Absolutely, you're not sacrificing quality no. with this pan at all. No, it's, not at all. I, I have to say, I'm so impressed, and it's funny because I've known my producer Rick. We've both been here for over 20 years. I have never done a cooking show with him ever where he said, "I'm getting this pan." He just he said it again. <laughs> I'm <laughs> getting this pan. He just said in my ears, "I'm getting, getting this pan." I love that. I've yeah. never heard that in over 20 years. Okay, Michael, what's going on well, over Well, look there? at this. So I took Liz's eggs. I put a little bit of parsley on them, a little bit of chives, Parmesan cheese with our grater. Again, right to the table yeah. with it. That's fantastic. You know, the biscuits, right to the table with wow. it. Wow. So what we have learned in our years of entertaining is we want to make it easy for you at home. Like, we want to give you professional tips, but make it easy for you at home. So once you finish a dish, to be able to set it on the middle of the table, know that you have 10 or 15 minutes because it's gonna hold its heat yeah. before your guests get there and oh, give you that little thing. bit of safe time, all of a sudden entertainment's easy. Right, and now you don't have a sink full of pans you don't have to clean off all those platters that you're plating this food on. I mean, right. this is just going right on the table, right like You know, Liz, I think, it's, I think people make a, the mistake, and correct me if I'm wrong, but they think, oh, they're, you know, James Beard Award winners and they're restaurant tours. But you, you cook like a home cook when you're home. It's, not, it's not like you're whipping up tasting menus, you know, seven no. days out no. of the week no. for the family, no. right? No, and we entertain a lot. Like, Liz and I always, 
we have six, eight, 10, 12 people over, and yeah. we want to put food in a big, beautiful pot and put it in the middle of the table and watch people break bread and get yeah. in there and eat, but not freak out about it, not yeah. sweat. It's it should be fun. It should be delicious. Look, at, delicious. Fun. look, at, this, exactly. look at this, oh, look at this we steak. We get this beautiful crust on the Ooh. top. I did it all stove top. We're medium in the middle, crust on both sides. It's like the steak that you of your dreams that you yeah. get at a steakhouse, but we did it in no time at all. Okay, and look right. at Katie. She's like a little tiny. Well, machine over like here. There's more food. That is more food. A little this bit is, of breakfast bread pudding. This right. is my very my famous this. breakfast right. bread, oh, yeah, bread pudding. Mm, okay. All right. Oh, man, that looks awesome. All right, Liz, 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 what are you no. cutting into there? This is oh. the breakfast bread pudding, which, I mean, look at this. Look at she she kind of won me rising. over, like, like a long, long time ago. You know, I'm thinking, I'm a fancy chef. I know how to impress Liz. And she made me this breakfast bread pudding, and, and I said, you know, here I am, almost 30 years later. And I, I think it's because of that bread pudding served in a beautiful cast enamel pan I mean, in the middle of the table. I'm still impressed by her to well, this day. And that's <laughs> thing I mean food looks beautiful it against does. this dark surface I mean there's just so much and again like even with these berries you're not going to get staining in this pan nope. all right I got, I got a breakfast bread pudding what's in that it is well this one has bacon I'm eggs, get you some. heavy cream oh, yeah. again it's not you know right it's a good treadmill before <laughs> the show kind of dish it's, it's, we're from the midwest exactly <laughs> right exactly but you know no, you that, but this is wait, actually can i show you something too Christmas look at day, see how it pulls is, right out yeah. do. look at how it pulls right out like we bake this in here it's Ooh. eggs cheese bacon and it just it right. lifts right out of the pan you had me a bacon yeah uh, yeah the bacon yeah, kind of bacon. i have every, we have everybody <laughs> a bacon uh, you know the thing is liz because i mean you guys are so busy too like you said like christmas morning everybody wants breakfast but nobody wants to be stuck in the kitchen right right you, you kind of mix this together you throw it in the oven right exactly i mean i try make this. this the night before throw the whole pan in the uh, or in the refrigerator and then mm. morning launch it of, in the oven <laughs> so, it, so it yeah so you actually go from fridge to oven to, oven. to table 